Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plug and Boutique and I'm extremely excited today because I get to introduce to you Lifeline Expanse. It's a brand new plugin from a brand new manufacturer on PlugInBoutique.com called Excite Audio. Expanse is an extensive and intuitive multi-effect that breathes life into any sound by adding character, spates, and width. It does this by using intricate reamping techniques. Reamping is the process of taking an audio signal and playing it out in an environment. The signal is sent through amps, mics, and effects to add color, texture, and depth, and then it's re-recorded. Now, to do reamping, usually you'll need an amplifier, you'll need an effects module, you'll need a console, you'll need one or more microphones, you'll need a lot of equipment, and you'll need a space to record in. But what Lifeline Expanse does is gives you all of those things wrapped up in an easy to use, powerful VST plugin. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Let's see what Lifeline Expanse has to offer. So this is Lifeline Expanse here on the screen. You'll notice that we've got five individual and distinct modules. These are reroutable by simply clicking and dragging up here at the top. Each one of the modules has four different algorithms to choose from. On the basic page here, we have an individual parameter, which is specific to each one of the modules at our disposal. It's kind of like the in-focus parameter or effect, if you will. You can see for width, I've got stereo, dirt, I've got drive, reamping, I've got the age, space, I've got time, and then on format, I've got crush. Now, each one of these modules has a further tone control, and you will be surprised how often you're gonna be using this. I am so happy it's there on the basic page because I find myself using it almost on every instance I have of Lifeline Expanse in any project. Each one of the modules also has its own mix knob and its own gain control up here at the top double clicking any parameter sets it back to the beginning and you can bypass any of them by clicking the color button next to the module's name. There is a global mix knob over here, a global low pass and high pass filter, as well as your normal in and out controls, a bypass button. This activates the gain safety and activates a built-in limiter so you're never gonna be redlining. And this turns on automatic smoothing that reduces the amount of harsh frequencies which can be added because we have so many different ways of adding upper frequency content like saturation and distortion from uh, boosting the drive control here on the reamp section to the format digital distortion and the tape and tube and rectify and fuzz saturation over here as well. If you're feeling it's a little bit too harsh, just turn this on and Lifeline Expanse will automatically remove some of that harshness for you. Now, I've already kind of given away the ghost here. Each one of these modules has an advanced panel. Each one of the modules has a unique advanced panel that is catered specifically to the effect of the module itself. For width, we've got left to right balance. We also have a base mono option as well. For dirt, we've got a dynamic and smoothing option. These are really, really handy. Reamping, we've got quite a few options. We've got the mic position. Uh, for both a close and a room microphone, speaker options, and inside of the signal, as I said already, we can drive the input gain to add more distortion and get some really nice tones. And there's also a bass through, just like the width module, where we can allow the sub end to pass through direct out of the module instead of being processed by the cabinet or whatever algorithm we've chosen over here at the top. For the space, we've got everything you need for a reverb, including pre-delay, size of the room, stereo imaging, and automatic ducking. And for the format, we've got a way to introduce even more noise on top of the digital distortion and a way to smooth out the frequencies that are being added. Each one of the modules inside of the advanced feature has a multi-band section where we can have three bands and we can choose the frequency crossover position by moving to the left and the right and the amount of the effect by clicking and dragging up and down and we also have the ability to adjust the gain amount as well here by just clicking where it says effect or gain you can flip back and forth between the two so that being said let's dive a little bit more into each one of the modules and listen to them on some different audio sources The reamp module is really the heart of Lifeline Expanse. It's what allows you to mimic playing your sound through a different device in recording it or picking it up from some microphones. Mm -hmm. 
and make it sound like this. Here, the reamp module and the space module are combining to make that direct input guitar signal sound like it was recorded in a large space. The basic panel here gives us access to our four algorithms. The cabinet algorithm is an electric guitar cabinet speaker emulation. The monitors are high quality studio monitors with a rich frequency response. Vintage uses the impulse responses from vintage recording equipment, including a classic eight track cassette recorder and a ribbon microphone. And device mimics small consumer electronics speaker emulations like radios, Game Boys, mobile phones, laptop speakers, etc. The H parameter is going to degrade the sound even further. So let's go ahead and turn that down for a second and bring up the mix and flip through the different algorithms so we can hear them on this guitar. Now let's introduce some aging. So you can hear there that the degradation introduced by the age parameter is a little bit different for each one of the algorithms here. Of course, we've got the tone control on top of that, a mix knob, and if we jump into the advanced panel, this is one of the more in-depth modules that we have in Lifeline Expanse. We have the normal multiband option for both the effect amount and the gain settings. I'm gonna leave that off for now. And down here, we have the microphones. We've got a close microphone and a room microphone. And these are actually doing a complicated set of processes to mimic sound coming out of whatever algorithm we've chosen and into these two different microphones. We can, of course, just use the close microphone or just use the room microphone and we have how far away those microphones are from the sound source. The room microphone, for example, goes from three meters up to 13 meters away from the sound source, while the close microphone can be right up on top of it, essentially touching whatever's emulating the sound up to two meters. With our mix knobs at 100%, let's check out what they sound like and what they do to the sound as you move further away from the sound source. It actually might be helpful to turn off the reverb here because it actually kind of adds almost a reverb effect on top of changing the tone and body of the sound. And now let's check out the room microphone. And then we can blend the two to find the happy balance and make the mix sound good. Now, we also have the ability to drive the input. which is just another way to add a nice distortion and saturation to the signal right from whatever device we have selected inside of the reamp module. And we also have a bass through, which can go up quite high. And this is just another example of Lifeline Expanse thinking of the music producer who wants to have a good mix. Being able to pass the bass through and not have that be reamped inside of the reamp module while still being able to capture those rich tones for the mids and the high frequencies is just an absolutely must have. And I'm so glad that they've included it here inside of Lifeline Expanse. The DIRT module uses classic saturation to swerve between subtle warmth and thickness through to hard hitting distortion and fuzz. The four algorithms you'll find in the DIRT module are tape, 
which is a classic tape saturation, which is more subtle than the tube saturation, which is a classic tube distortion. Fuzz is a noisy and blown out guitar fuzz pedal effect, and Rectify produces aggressive harmonics an octave above the incoming audio. I've got a nice warm bass here. Let's add some dirt to it. I absolutely love the dirt module inside of a lifeline expanse. It's so good to add character to my bass lines. I also really like that I have quick access to that tone control. For something like a bass, I'm going to want some mellower, darker tones on it. And then for something like a vocal, I'm going to want to go towards the brighter side. Let's jump into the advanced panel and see what we've got. As usual, we've got the effect multiband section here where we can adjust the amount and what frequency positions we have, as well as gain control. And then we have dynamics and smoothing options as well. You can really hear when I've cranked up the dynamics here, how it's following the envelope of the audio a lot more and is a lot less static of a movement. It's really great that I have the ability to do that, especially on a bass guitar like I have here, or if you're gonna be using it on something with a bit more transients like your drum kit or your percussion. Smoothing is also gonna help you be able to sculpt the sound even further and how it sits with the contours of whatever sound signal is coming into the module. You can really hear how it's transformed the sound, and it sounds absolutely fantastic. The format module is a great way to mangle the sound. It's a bit more aggressive than the dirt module, and inside of it you can find these four algorithms. Degrade, which reduces the bit depth of the incoming audio signal and causes digital distortion. Resample reduces the sample rate of an audio and causes a different flavor of digital distortion. Flatten is a combination of a gate and a bit crusher that reduces the bit depth and the sample rate of volume peaks. Wash is like an underwater distortion that sounds something like a corrupted low quality MP3. I love using the format module on sub bass because it adds upper frequency content in a really nice tone and character to the signal. Let's take for instance this sub here. It's a really beefy sub, but if you don't have high quality headphones in or listening on high quality studio monitors, you might not be able to hear it. But if I add, for example, the degrade signal and introduce the crush level, you'll be able to hear it no matter what speakers you're listening to, whether it be a cell phone, low quality headphones, or even your laptop. The tone control is a great way to roll off the frequencies that are introduced way too high in the spectrum for something like a sub bass. Let's really crush the signal, pull up the mix of both the module and the output, and listen to these different flavors of digital distortion.
Let's check out the advanced features. Again, we've got multi-band capabilities for both the effects and the gain control. And we also have the ability to add extra noise to the signal as well. The smooth is a great way to tame the digital distortion that's being added when you have more of a percussive sound. Definitely come back to this parameter when you're using the format control on something like percussion and drums. Whether it's through panning, pitching, signal boosting, or detuning, Expanse offers balanced and detailed control over your stereo field. The four algorithms you'll find inside of the width module are Haas, which duplicates the audio signal, pans left and right, then delays one side by up to 30 milliseconds. Mid-side alters the balance between the mid-signal and the sides. It boosts the side signals while reduces the mid-signals. Detune duplicates the audio signal, pans left and right, then adds a random pitch variation to each side for a chorusing effect, and mono reduces the width of an audio signal. It's very handy for things like subs and bass lines. So inside of this project, I've got these chords. and those chords are playing with these stabs. So as you can hear, they're kind of competing for the center stage. What I wanna do is use the width module to push those pads to the left and the right to allow those stabs to sit in the middle. I'm gonna choose the Haas effect, and if I unbypass Lifeline Expanse, this is what we have. I'm also gonna use the tone control to make these pads slightly darker, again, because the stabs have a lot more higher energy, higher frequency content. With just those two parameters, let's see how the mix is now. The composition sounds much, much better now, and the mix will be much better in the end. Let's check out the advanced panel of the width module. Here, just like all of the other modules, we have the multiband option. We can move to the left and the right, and we can add the effect amount by dragging up and down. We can also switch to gain as well, and we do have a balance control, so we can swing this or move this more to the left or more to the right. We do have a phase correlation meter here, which is just gonna make sure we don't have any phase issues later on when summing to mono. The phase correlation meter, you're in general gonna to wanna to be towards the plus one. Every now and then it will dip a little bit towards the minus one, but that's gonna be okay. What you're really looking for is to avoid any signal that's being too far to the left, but because of the algorithms inside of the width module inside of Lifeline Expanse, you won't need to worry about that. The final control here is the sub direct out, which allows us to make sure any subby frequencies will never be panned to the left and the right. And just as a general rule for mixing, that's something you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of. As with all of the other modules, the space module inside of Lifeline Expanse has four algorithms. The plate algorithm is a classic metallic plate reverb. Spring is a guitar amp style spring reverb. Slap is a slapback delay that can either add a single realistic early reflection or create metallic feedback mayhem. Hall is a real sounding room reverb at its smallest and a large concert hall at its largest. 
I'm gonna go ahead and bypass the space on these vocals and let's just listen to what we've got. There is no place to hide and no one can call me. There is no place to hide and no one can call me. There is no place to hide and no one can call me. There is no place to hide and no one can call me. There is no place to hide and no one can call me. There is no place to hide and no one can call me. There is no place to hide and no one can call me. There is no place to hide then no one can call me there is no place to hide then no one can call me there is no place to hide then no one can call me there is no place to hide then no one can call me there is no place to hide then no one can call me there is no place to hide then no one can call me let's jump into the advanced panel here and see what we've got just like all of the other modules, we do have multiband functionality for both the effect amount and the gain control. We also have a low pass, high pass filter. We have a pre delay control. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. We have a size control as well. Let's check that out on the slap back. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. There is no place to hide. We also have a stereo control. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. And my favorite control inside of the space module, and that is the auto ducking. When I introduce this, the wet signal will be ducked by the dry signal whenever it's being input into the module. This is incredibly important when you're dealing with reverb and you're beginning to mix your track. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. There is no... What I want to do here is I'm going to take the loop and make it a little bit longer so you can hear the reverb wash in after the dry signal has ended. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. There is no place to hide, then no one can call me. Very, very cool. It can be used artistically or technically, depending on what you need in your particular project. Lifeline Expanse is incredibly powerful and really great at what it does. It's got so much to offer, including using all of these effects together, or even if you're just using the great reverb algorithms on Ascend channel, you can absolutely do that with Lifeline Expanse. It's available already on pluginboutique.com, so click the link in the video description to check it out. As usual, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.